I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Hello, Janice. Would you like to reveal our theme? Because we can't wait. Gentlemen, today's theme is midweek meals. And I would like you to make four plates of a delicious dinner for under £10. We struggle to make one plate. <laughs> you can use any ingredients that you like from my deli as long as you stay within budget. The order will be decided on hair colour from darkest to lightest. Uh, Spaff darkest. Ebbers? Oh no. Do we count all the uh, oh, no. salt and pepper Ebers. elements of Ebbers' hair? <laughs> Ebbers, I think you're fair. Yeah, 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 that's alright, isn't it? He reshuffled because left to right, so. So Spaff's Good up welcome. first, and you've got to make sure you end up with four plates of food. Mm. Over to you, Spaff. Good luck, mate. I'll leave you to it. Right, I think I have a plan. I have spent eight pounds and 30 pence so far, and I think we should try and make a Thai style chicken curry with veg and egg noodles. Right, chicken in a bowl. Wash hands. Uh, we want some oil in there. Salt, go for the table salt. Janice, do we have any pepper? Coming right up. Thanks, Janice. I said we should have two portions of curry paste because extra, extra flavour. Hands in. I haven't left the boys much to spend, but I do think this should be the main basis of our dish. Right, that is on, that is done. Let's get rid of this chicken board. Onion, pepper, carrots, mushrooms. Whip, that's gonna give Barry everything he needs to know for what we're doing. It's all there. Right, how have I done? I feel like I've set us off in a good direction. I've spent a lot of cash. I don't feel like there should be much more to spend. I'm going to call that 8 out of 10. Basil Dazzle! I really, really hope he's done the maths for me. It's curry. It's a chicken curry. We're making chicken curry. Oh, no. I don't do... I don't, I don't make, like, curries for midweek meals. I'm more of an Italian, kind of like, pasta-based dish. Um, so I'm not in my comfort zone. Oh. I don't know! Peel some carrots. Right, there's an onion here that needs cooking. I've kind of gone back to my comfort zone, which is tray baits from Midweek Mills. If in doubt, chop a bunch of veg up, stick it on a tray with some oil, some salt and pepper, and it's going to taste delicious. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Curry paste, that's what he's used. Tell you what, why not? Yummy. It appears Barry has forgotten to add the curry paste to his bill. Shock. In the oven for time. One minute 20. That should be enough time to open a can of coconut milk. If any of you need instructions for how not to open a tin, this is it. Oh, I've lost the lid. I've lost the lid gone. Oh. Where's the lid go? Did it just sink? Where's the lid gone? You tell us, Barry. Well... <laughs> the coconut milk, with its lid, is going to go into the chicken. Um, how's that idea? Bang average. Probably a boring 4 out of 10. I'm sorry. Ben! You're in! Sorry! Right. £8.30 spent. Noodles, right, so if it's noodles, let's get some water on. Yeah. To 
prep ahead. Okay, we have protein cooked, possibly too early, possibly a bit overcooked. What we need is some sort of um, pickly acidity sort of thing. One panel, one ten, thirty p, that many, and add ninety p on. What I'm going to deliberately do here, just before we do the noodles, is blanch these beans, and then we can do like a a, a green bean salad. It's going to have to be spicy and hot. Um, I'm also going to put a large pan on because I think sautéing off those mushrooms to get some decent colour on them. But that'll only work if the pan's hot. So from our store cupboard, a little bit of soy. I typically, I'd love a bit of like rice wine vinegar, but you kind of use whatever vinegar you've got. Oil in the form of sesame oil. Another good flavour instead of the vinegar would be like lime juice. Um, but I can't even see any limes in there. Janice's Deli, we'll have to have a word. She needs to up her citrus game, I think. Perhaps you should up your cooking game, Ben. What I will try and do for him is get some cold water. So whoever opened the tin and pushed the lid to the bottom kind of trapped a lot of the cream at the bottom. But that's fine, we've saved it. Something else that would be lovely, have we got enough? Onion. 10p, it's on that one. I've picked up an onion. Will I be able to get across the messaging of what I want to do with it? I'm thinking vegetable oil, like crispy shallots, as a nice texture to finish the dish. They will need frying in the oil. I actually don't know if I'm now going to have time to do that. Will James get the hint? James is going to need to look at seasoning of this final curry dish once the cream reduces in the last few seconds, green beans going in, and then we'll call James. Out of 10, in the middle of the process, about middle ground, five and a half. James! Okay, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Don't boil chicken breast. It's not good. A curry, a chicken curry with chicken breast. I think I need to cook the noodles now so that I can actually get them out for Mike as well. So they can, oh, I don't want to, I don't want, okay, they're gonna go in. But completely unseasoned water. Don't know who roasted, why are we roasting carrots for, what? They've used all the bowls. But what I wanna do is grab the chicken out of here and get it going on a high heat and maybe chuck the mushrooms in. I don't have time for this. I'm putting soy sauce. Oh, I'm allowed to use this right camera. Sure, that's a cupboard staple. I haven't really checked if we've got any um, budget left, but I don't think I have much time. Whoa, what is that? What's that? Why is it just, what? What am I supposed to do with that? Right, this, <laughs> I would, usually, I would drain this well, but I'm assuming that somebody wants these to go in here. They put some ice next to the pan, just gonna like water these and chuck them in there because they obviously need to cook. I'm assuming we've paid for these. You have, but Barry still hasn't paid for his curry paste. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab all the carrots. I just, I don't think of carrots in a curry, but I definitely could be wrong. All of this is gonna go in here because we've got, to get, we've got it over a high heat. We're reducing the coconut milk and this is all gonna add flavor. So roasting it is, is really good. That's cool. I'm adding the carrot to what I hope somebody wanted to be a salad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna buy some more curry paste and just chuck that through there. I bought something! Guys, I bought something! Ah! Isn't that cool? It was 30p, that, I think that was 30p. Whoa, sorry to whoever's pen this is. Chuck the chicken back in. Oh. oh. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Does that mean I have to leave? He needs to put the bowl down and think about what he's done. Cool. Um, I left it a little bit late to get the noodles out. So if he could come back quickly, that'd be great. I feel like I made a delicious salad and used the carrots in a way that will make me happy rather than sad. Uh, seven, seven, yeah, seven. Mike! Here we go, here we go. Stay positive, stay positive. I listen to classical music before going into these things because I get so stressed out. 
Oh, are these, where did they go? Did they come from there and go there? Um, probably. I mean, I assume that these are cooked. I'm gonna take that off because overcooked chicken in a curry is disgusting. What on earth is that? I'm gonna get some bowls. Just taking four minutes to pick some bowls. Come on, get out of there. F off, how long are these noodles? How? This is a decent portion, you know. We probably have enough for leftovers, which in itself is budgety. Now let's get some chicken. So I have 40p spare. So I'm going to use 20 peas worth of fresh coriander. Janice, can I have 20 peas worth of peanuts? I'm gonna call it a handful. Thanks for shopping at Janice's Deli. Which I'm gonna say takes us bang on to um, 10 pounds. We could win this. How am I doing for time, please, Jan? Six seconds. Six seconds? Wow, that was quick. What about that salad? Oops, we'll serve it in that bowl. Out of 10, I didn't really contribute much. I think the guys have done an amazing job, so I'm just gonna give myself a six for not ruining it. Now bear in mind, we've gone four portions because that's what we see as being a, a you know, like a, a traditional midweek meal portion size. Um, but there's five of us, so I currently have an empty vessel. So I'm gonna need, need you to share some stuff with me. Unblindfold in three, two, one. Oh, oh, this is oh, oh. oh. Huh? What? What we have, I think, is a Southeast Asian curry with noodles, chicken, and this, which is <laughs> the bowl that I found when I walked in the kitchen. Do you know, do you know what? Midweek, I'd be pretty chuffed with that. It's, yeah. it, it's not gonna blow you away. Ebbers, you've not tasted it yet. But it looks quite inviting and comforting. I didn't think I could possibly be surprised by what turned out, but oh. I am a little bit. Guys, before you eat it, don't miss out on the amazing thing in the middle. Mm. It looks fantastic, <laughs> there's a lot of color. Let's see if it is that. That is a comforting midweek meal. That is very, very tasty. That's got a lot of flavour going on. I would never associate carrots with a curry, which may be completely wrong, but yeah. I took them all out. I also bought some extra curry paste and put it through that as well. Hadn't we already bought that? No. We bought portions. We bought portions, oh, yeah. Because I chucked another, I chucked another teaspoon into... From the pot. From the pot into the veg as well. But you didn't add it? I just presumed the pot. I thought, you, I thought we'd bought the pot. Barry! As I left the kitchen, I thought, according to all of our mathematics, that we came out at an even £10. Bang on. But it turns out we actually came out at an even £10.30. Well done, Baz. I didn't... Oh. I mean, you do nothing for your own stereotype. Do you know that? Right, everyone spit out the coriander. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, I, we failed this. So, well done, Baz. Brilliant. Um, oh, OK. I, but, Jay, I, what did you rate yourself? I thought I had a strong start, actually. I gave myself an eight. Mm. And had we have stayed within budget, yeah. by 30p, would, would it have been a pass or a fail? It would have been a pass for me. Excellent. Baz, yeah. what do you think, friend? <laughs> <laughs> I gave myself a four, oh, because it, it felt very middle of the road. So you gave yourself a four before you knew that you'd blown the budget? Yep, I, I went for five and a half. Which actually, now seeing the result, I think it's probably quite modest. I gave myself a seven. Mm. So I thought I brought it together well. And you guys would have given it a pass had we actually... Oh yeah, that would have mm. been a pass, yeah. Okay. Um, I gave myself a six, didn't really do much, but I would have said pass two. So that would have been an over... That would have been an overwhelming pass. As much as it's annoying that we failed, um, I actually have picked up quite a few tips just from around the table of places that I can go next time for my midweek cooking. So, so well done, boys. Well done. But we failed. We failed. <laughs> We'd love to know what you think as well in the comments. Comment down below. Let us know. Rank us in terms of our performances. Yes, rank us in terms of our performances. <laughs> One to five. And 
Is it a pass or a fail to you? I mean, obviously it's a default fail, but withstanding the budget issue, would it have been a pass or a fail for you? And if you have any maths textbooks that you'd right. like to send Bonk. us, then send them to Sorted P.O. Box. <laughs> It wasn't a maths issue. It wasn't it a maths was issue, a, it was just a moral issue of stealing. Detail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, that. <laughs> Before you go, just a quick shout to say thanks to all of you who are using and sending us your thoughts on our PAX app. We wanted to create a tool to help you boss your midweek meals, cut down on food waste, and reduce the cost of your weekly food shop. And you are helping us do just that, so thank you. We want to make this as accessible as possible right now, so if you haven't tried it, you can now for a full month absolutely free. The link is in the description box below. And now for the bloop. I can only apologise. Yes. Seven and a half P over budget per portion. You've uh, got to go make it up to Janice now. So. <laughs> Not again. <laughs>